right now. So we'll make sure to get this recording out to everybody. Uh, but what I'm going to be going through here today are things that you, number one, you absolutely need to know. Number two, things that you need to avoid. And number three, what this really means to your business as we continue uh, inside Lionshare. And uh, I know you guys, if you've watched any of my videos, you've probably kind of got this theme that I've been talking about, a place called home, right? Um, you know, for those, I might be showing my age here, but if you guys remember AT&T, they always had that welcome back home, uh, you know, campaign that they had in marketing and things like that. And you know, I know that, you know, since July, uh, that's when we very first launched our Ethereum contract was July 16th. And here we are in November. Um, I don't even know how many months that is. But what I do know is this. I know during that period of time, that's like a lifetime in direct sales or network marketing, right? In that period of time, you can usually literally roll over an entire organization, entire group of people. And, you know, one of the biggest things that, that we have from a vision standpoint is to make sure that we give people that even playing field, but also give them a place that they can continue to call home without having to constantly be looking for something else. Now, with that being said, I'm a big believer that there's a lot of you on here today. There's a lot of people in this industry that are addicted to the change. You're addicted to the start over, right? Regardless of what you say, and it's kind of funny because every single meeting that I ever get on with every major leader, I always get asked the same question is, how long do you think Lion Share can last? And what I want to say back to them is it doesn't matter how long it lasts. How long can you stay here without looking for something new, right? That's the real question. And it usually boils down to how much work can you put into it or how much leverage can you have in your business where you don't have to be doing everything on your own to create that type of income. And those are the opportunities that are being created here at Lionshare. You know, a business where you have to do it all, it kind of eliminates the idea of being able to network and grow an organization and build a team. And, you know, my belief is this, if you just look at a one by three and you just look at a two by two, no matter how much you talk about the team aspects of those, at some point, at some point, you know, you have to put the skin in your business to make it work, right? Now, with this new L3 project, you still have to run this like a business, right? This is not something that you just come and sit and watch and magically you earn income. Now, those things are called, um, they're going away in 60 days is usually what they're called, right? And they're everywhere and they're popping up. And I've had a lot of people that have contacted me and said, hey, James, you know, can you look at this? Can you can you look at creating this type of platform uh, where you know we can just bring people in and they can earn without doing anything? And here's the deal: like you know, if there's something legit behind something like that, that's I'm all for that. I think that that's a really cool aspect of it. But what I've seen out there in today's business is that that usually doesn't exist, right? What usually happens is something is created that goes away in 60 to 90 days, and people get hurt. So. You know, what you have here at Lionshare is something that's legit, something that can last the test of time. You know, once you put something on the blockchain, it can't be removed. So, you know, if you're here today and maybe you've been just kind of tippy toeing into this, you know, maybe you're a big leader in other network marketing companies or you've been watching from the outside to try to figure out, you know, is this going to last? What's going on? Is it just another thing that's going to come and go? Let me just kind of break this down for you. Since this thing's been placed on the blockchain, it wouldn't matter if the website went away tomorrow it still is an operating system, right? It takes that aspect out of the business. You never have to worry about, am I gonna receive a commission payment, right? All those things that you've dealt with in the past, I know some of this is repeat for a lot of you, but you have to understand how important that aspect of the business is because those are all the things that usually lead up to you looking for a new company. Now, if you're a new member, I'm just going to be straight with you, okay? If you've been in 10 different smart contracts or 10 different companies in the last 60 days and you can't figure out why your name's not on that leaderboard, let me give you just a little tip, okay? It has nothing to do with the smart contract. It has nothing to do with the company or the people behind it. It has to do with you becoming the leader that you have to become for people in order to want to follow you, okay? And the only way that that can happen is if you develop yourself and you become that person. And the way that you become that person is surrounding yourself with people just like this, right? Getting in the mix and being an active participant, not only in building your business, but building this community. And I talk about all the time, you know, one of the best things about Lionshare is not the fact that it's a smart contract or that our technology is second to none, or we have an amazing comp plan and adding something new and we're constantly in front of this thing. It is the community that we've created. That's what this thing is all about. And I think that's hard to find in almost any other place. And I know here's the deal. 
you know, we have calls twice a day that, you know, our, our, uh, we have ladies that come out and they do our calls for us twice a day to help you build your business. And, you know, I don't expect everybody to come out to every single one of those calls because I'm kind of a believer that if you're on Zooms all day, most likely you don't have time to build your business. You might think that you're building it, but you're not actually building it. Those calls are designed for you to invite people to be tools for you, right? Where you can get people to it and you can leverage other people's success. You can leverage other people's knowledge and you can leverage your time. If I had to guess, most of y'all got in this business because you either wanted money or you wanted time or you wanted both, right? And you know, as people get into this, sometimes they don't believe that either of those are possible. And I'm here to tell you that it's absolutely possible. You just have to buckle down and you have to focus and surround yourself with the right people and at the same time, focus on your growth, right? Focus on you, not everybody else. And the best advice I ever got in this business, I promise you I'm going to get to the L3, but I want you to understand how important this aspect of this is. This is the foundation that I'm talking about. The best advice I ever got in this industry when I'd already been in it like <clears throat> almost two years, starving to death. And I say starving to death. I mean, I could put food on my table, so don't take that any way. But the bottom line was I couldn't make it happen and I couldn't stand it. Like I, I paid everybody I could. <clears throat> I had money to put into marketing and I couldn't figure out how to get over that hump. And I finally had a guy tell me, he's like, look, man, when you stop worrying about what everybody else is doing and just worry on your own success, that's when you're going to have success. You're as good as anybody out there. You just have to find it. And I know that each and every one of you here today, <clears throat> you have that ability inside of you, right? We all have different gifts and talents but we are all built to be able to do whatever we want to do if we put our minds to it. So with that being said, <clears throat> I'm sorry about my voice. I do want to talk a little bit about the L3 here and what it's going to mean to your business, but specifically what you need to be doing to get ready for it. Okay. Um, as everybody, I'm sure at this point, you probably understand the L3 is a unilevel, right? It allows you to build 15 levels deep and as wide as you want. And let me be clear on something, okay? When I say 15 levels deep, your business can be 100 levels deep. It doesn't matter. What we're saying is we're gonna pay you on 15 levels, right? And this, the commissions that are paid out equal out to 100%. So it's an amazing way for you to be able to lock arms with people, to really be able to work with people now, instead of being like, hey, you know, I'd love to help you out, but I have to go out there and personally refer someone. I have to build my own business right this second. I'd love to come to this Zoom or I'd love to come to this meeting and help you out. But is it really going to pay me? I don't care what anyone says. We're all human. And every question that you ask yourself in business is the time that I'm going to put into this. Is it going to pay me something in return? Because if it's not, you know, why would you do it now? I mean, obviously, some of you will do it out of the kindness of your heart, which I get that. And I, I'm there, too. Right. I like to serve. I like to help people as much as I can. But at some point, you got to take care of you and your family. And what this L3 allows each and every one of you to do is to build an organization, right, to really build something underneath you that can provide you income ongoing where you're not having to constantly start over. As I said, especially in the smart contract industry, I know everyone's addicted to the launch, right? They're looking for the next biggest launch. They want to be part of it. People are going crazy all the time. And that kind of leads me into my next component of this conversation is the launch tomorrow. What does that mean to you? How's it going to work? How's it going to be affected? Can people pass you? All these questions that are, you, you know that you've been asking, I'm going to do my best right now to kind of eliminate some of the you know skeptics that are out there to help you understand what you need to do as a leader and also just remind you you know what what it really works like or what it looks like and works when it comes to this compensation plan so you're not having a misconception because I think there's a lot of you out there that you you look at stuff as if it's a matrix, okay? Even though this is a unilevel, a lot of people are still focused on, hey, is this, this is a matrix. So like, you know, do my people, are my people still gonna follow me? All these different things. So we're gonna break some of that down right now for you and help you understand that. Now, I wanna start with the most obvious thing, just in case people have to get off here early. The most important thing that you need to understand about tomorrow is this, okay? There is absolutely zero benefit to you of passing your sponsor, okay? Each and every one of you should be waiting for your sponsor. And if you're a leader out there, you should already have your list of personal people ready to tell them. And you should have already been communicating over the last few weeks as we've talked about this and said, look, as soon as I upgrade, I'm going to let you know. Now, as soon as you let your personals know, it doesn't matter 
what order they upgrade in. This is not like a matrix where everyone needs to race to get their very top position, you know, to get position in a matrix so they can get spillover. I want everybody to make sure you have a complete clear understanding of this, okay? There's no reason whatsoever to pass your sponsor unless your sponsor is not doing the business, right? If they're not upgrading, if they're not communicating with you, then hey, I totally get that. But if you're on a team, right, and you're already part of an organization, some of you might be thinking, well, if I pass my sponsor, they start bringing people in, everyone's going to fall under me. No, that's not the way it works, okay? It goes up line. It doesn't go down line. So just keep that in mind that if you're passing someone and you're thinking that you're going to get some type of financial benefit, what you're going to do is you're going to find yourself on an island wondering why the depth of your organization isn't as deep as it should be. Trust me, the more that people work together inside of this L3, the more powerful it's going to be. The more people who try to be, you know, renegade or rebels or rogues and go out there and try to pass their sponsors and do all that, it's just going to hurt the camaraderie of the team, right? The, you know, that team concept that you have, it's going to hurt that. It's going to hurt your relationship with your sponsor. And the last thing, it's not going to help you or your family. OK, now I can't be any more clear than that, I don't think. But, you know, I do know that there's people out there that have this belief or this mindset that, hey, I got to get in there as quick as I can. If my sponsor doesn't do it, so what? I'm passing them. Trust me, it's not the right move. And that's not I'm not coming from a place of I'm trying to convince you or like play some mind games with you. I'm being straight with you. There's literally no financial benefit for you to do that. OK, you're not going to pick up any of their team if you pass them. So just keep that in mind <clears throat> now. The next thing I want to talk about is how do you lose people? Okay, so let's assume that you come in here and let's say that you can't buy all 16 packages, okay? Because there's going to be a lot of you who can't buy all 16 packages and that's okay, right? I do believe people usually do what you do if they can. So just keep that in mind as a leader, you probably want to buy as many as you possibly can, but some of you may not be able to buy all of them, okay? So let's just say hypothetically you came in here and you bought the first 10 packages, okay? You bought the first 10 packages and then you go out there, you tell your team about what's going on. Well, there's a potential that someone on your team might buy 11 packages or 12 packages, right? So they are going to pass you on those two levels. So let's just say that that's the example. You came in, you bought 10 packages. They came in, someone that you personally sponsored and they bought 12 packages, okay? Those two packages that they're above you on, you won't get paid on that. That will actually go up line. But here's the deal. If you buy 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 at some point on those on those and before you're the, the person that you sponsor did, what's going to happen is those people will begin to pay you again on levels 13, 14, 15 and 16. OK, so you're going to miss anything that you're not on that they're on. There's nothing we can do about it. This is not like a matrix where they're going to cycle back into your business or anything like that. OK, so that's why I'm telling you this is why it's so important that we have some type of order. Now, at the same time, this is not a, a process in which we can just like import everybody into and then let them pay. That's not the way smart contracts work. As you know, we've already proven that we know how to import, but it can't work in a format like that. So I just want to remind you that number one, obviously make sure that you're communicating with your team. Number two, wait for your sponsor to tell you that they've upgraded so you can upgrade. You're not going to miss out on anything as long as you're communicating with your team as well. Number three, you're only going to be able to earn up to the point that you own on these packages, which I think everybody understands that anyway. But if someone does pass you, you can get them back on higher boards as long as you get there before them. OK, or higher packages, I guess, is the best way to say that. So you don't lose them forever as long as you're there before they are. OK, if they if you're if you are the, if they're there before you, then chances are you're not going to get them back. There's nothing we can do about that. So just keep that in mind. So um, I think that everybody would agree that that's just the, the fair way to do it. There's not much to say other than that, you know, but I wanted to make sure that, that you that you get this. So that kind of leads me into uh, a question that I get a lot as far as like strategy. You know, I get a lot of questions saying, well, James, you know, with the L3, should we just have people come in and, you know, not not join L1 and L2 and just join the L3? Is this the new thing? Is this what we're doing? 
I will tell you, and I'm going to just be straight from my side. If I was building this business, just like a normal, normal uh, producer, what I would do. Okay. I would be leading with L1 and L2 for two reasons. Number one, they have to buy L1 and L2 before they even get to L3, but I wouldn't be selling it as, Hey, just come in and buy these first two packages. And then, then you're good to go. I would not do that. I would be building this as a strategy of saying, look, these are the three legs of our business or however you want to say it, but these are the three components of our business that you must have in place in order to get to whatever your income potential is, because that's what people see. They see money, right? Most of the time they see money. So what are the best strategies to get there? Well, in my opinion, you have to teach every single person that comes into your business to start with L1, L2 and L3, right? Not just one and two, but and three, because here's the deal. You want them to have some of that immediate gratification. You want them to be able to commit to the process to bringing people into this business. If, if I was out there, you know, personally referring people constantly, what I would be saying is to every single person, I would say, look, if you're going to join my team, right, I want you to commit to bringing at least three people on every single package that you're going to come in at, at least three. OK, and I would get that commitment because everybody can get three people if they're actually working this business, number one. And I want you to think about that posture of being able to say, look, if you want to join my team, I need you to commit to having three people instead of saying, hey, you know, it would be great. Like when you start, if you could try to refer just at least three people. No, no, no. Be the leader. Say, hey, this is what I did. This is how I'm going to build my business. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. But you need to commit to having those three people. And it's going to take a little bit of work for you to be able to do that. So I would have people commit to three people personally that they're going to refer in every single package, L1, L2, and L3. And I would have them purchase as many boards or packages, whatever you'd like to call them, as they possibly can. Okay. Those things are important because I want you to remember this. The aspect of the follow me system is still there with L1 and L2, right? It's so powerful. You guys have seen the numbers. Now, when you add the component of L3, especially for new people, the L3 will take a little bit of time, right, to build because you're building an organization. So for new people, in my opinion, it is crucial. I'm talking crucial that they're coming in and that they are working the L1 and L2 package. And knowing that that L3 package is that thing that can, can begin to pay pay them as they learn this business and as they start to leverage their time. So you want to build it as, hey, here's your now money with your L1 and your L2. This L3, even though it's going to pay you and it pays instantly and everything like that, these inc this income will become bigger and bigger over time as you build your organization and as you build your team. I'm going to help you do that. And it starts with three people and having them follow you. So a lot of you have been asking me, that's my personal suggestion. Now, I would encourage you, there's a lot of people in here that probably have a lot more experience than I do when it comes to network marketing. They have a lot more experience, uh, you know, probably talking in front of people or teaching people or whatever it is. They might have a different strategy than what I just told you. So get back with whoever sent you here. If they have something different, I mean, that's great. Maybe you all can share it with me. Maybe I, maybe I have it wrong and that's totally cool. So I would encourage everybody to do that, all right? I mean, I think that that's super important from that side. So let's get to some of the technical side of this, uh, how it's going to affect you. I don't wanna keep you guys longer than 30 minutes today. Uh, so I wanna get to the technical side of this. And by technical, I'm talking about how is tomorrow going to work? Like right? when we log into our back office, uh, what's it gonna look like? What do we need to do? How's this thing going to work? So a couple key things, okay? We're going live tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? I'll be sending out the information. We're actually going to have a, a live launch call as well to get people excited about this, to kick this thing off. Now, the reason why we're having a live call at the exact time that we're going live is because, like I said, it's not like a matrix where you got to be fighting to get in there. No, you should already have your plan in place, your people in place. Everyone should be already communicated to on what they need to do. So here's the way it's going to work. Once you are logged into your back office, this is for existing members. Okay. We'll talk about new members here in just a second, but for an existing member, as soon as we go live, when you log in, you're still going to see your L1, you're still going to see your L2, but there's also going to be an L3 option, right? And just like you've done on L1 and L2, you can go in there and you can purchase your packages. Now, there's a couple things that you need to know. Number one, the bundle buy, you know, we have the bundle buy on L1 and L2 right now that you can go in there and you can purchase a bundle. So you can buy everything at one time. 
that will not be live on the L3 when we launch, okay? It will come, we're gonna add it, but right now you're gonna have to go in there and you're gonna have to purchase them individually. So just keep that in mind. If you're looking for that buy bundle uh, option, it won't be there until, you know, probably a few days. I don't, I'm not even gonna tell you a time frame. Just know that it's not gonna be there, okay? But we are going to add it because I think it's a pretty convenient thing. The second thing I wanna tell you is this. I've been getting, I wouldn't say a lot, uh, of, of feedback, but I haven't getting some messages in regards to TronLink or TronLink Pro. If you're using your cell phone and you're using TronLink Pro, um, I will tell you even yesterday, like they were having some issues with updating, okay? Uh, there's some of you that might be coming in and you know, you're like, hey, I have people that are trying to purchase this package and it just keeps saying waiting on the blockchain. And it's showing me a yellow message and uh, then I'm trying to log into my wallet and it's just loading like nothing's popping up. If you're seeing those type of things, you have to understand something. That is not a lion share issue. Okay, that is a Tron Link issue, which we can't control. Tron Link Wallet, obviously. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Um, they did. I think that they're kind of through that. It looks like last night they kind of caught up. Everything was fine the last time I checked. But just know if you're running into some of those issues, that's a wallet issue. Also keep in mind that our system uses any DApp wallet that, that you want, right? So if Tron Link uh, wallet's not working for you and your team, I know you're kind of stuck there right now because that's what you started with, uh, but you can always refer people to a different wallet if you want to do that. I think Tron Link's gonna be fine. I just think that they've had some issues, okay? So just keep that, keep that in mind as you're going into this, that if you're getting frustrated or your people are getting frustrated, you need to make sure to have the stance and the understanding that, hey, this is not lion's share technology that's having the challenge, it's the wallet, okay? It's important because listen, imagine if you're brand new, you're trying to get started, it's hard enough to get people to say yes, you had to walk them all the way through the process on how to get the Tron, maybe even gave them the Tron, right? I mean, you, you've already went through this process, you finally get them to the point where they sign up and then you get this message saying, waiting on the blockchain. That's frustrating, right? For a new person, that is a pain because that immediate first impression is not a good one. So if I'm a leader out there, what I'm telling people is this, I would say, look, you know, uh, lion share technology is fantastic, but sometimes with these wallets and the Tron network, sometimes there's challenges. We may not run into any of those, but I just wanna let you know that if it happens, let's not freak out about it, let's not get frustrated. We might just have to wait a little bit of time, but we'll get you taken care of. I think that's a much better conversation to have with someone who's new uh, to keep them updated. If you're an existing member, you probably already know what's going on. You probably already have an understanding, but you still may not realize that that's not attached to Lionshare. Now, on our side, what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be adding some information there for new people on that message as well, and just let people know what's going on, okay? So we're working on our side to do the best that we possibly can to educate people as they're coming into the system. But hey, sometimes it's challenging because people are speaking multiple languages. There's all different things that we're dealing with on our side, so just keep that in mind. Uh, the other thing I wanna mention is, you know, we still have a lot of people, believe it or not, that are building our Ethereum contract. And, you know, if you've been watching Ethereum, some of you may not even realize we have an Ethereum contract, but our Ethereum contract contract absolutely blew up. We put about 100,000 people in that contract uh, within, I don't know, six weeks or eight weeks or something like that. And we still have people that are building that. We will be adding the L3 to the Ethereum contract as well, but okay, it will not be tomorrow. It's going to be next week. Okay. So just keep that in mind. We are adding it, but it will be next week. So there's some of you that have massive, massive organizations inside the Ethereum contract uh, with gas prices being very low right now. In fact, they're back to where they were even, even maybe a little bit less than when we very first launched that contract, when things went berserk in a good way, just keep that in mind. That could be another income source for you uh, and why not take advantage of it? So just keep that in mind that that's a whole nother option. And there's some of you that only work the Tron project, which is cool. You might want to take a look at the Ethereum contract because uh, there's a tremendous amount of income that can be earned there. So just keep that in mind as well. So tomorrow, once we get in here, so once you get in the back office, once you're logged in, you will see the L3. You'll be able to buy it. You'll be able to communicate with your people, letting them know that you have upgraded and that they can go. Another thing that you need to understand, the L3 is a completely different smart contract than L1 and L2. Even though it's attached, right? Even though you can see it and it's built into our system, 
it is a different smart contract. We've had that question a lot. Why can't you just import people? Well, it's a totally different smart contract. That is not the way it works, okay? So just keep that in mind. It will be a different smart contract that you'll be able to see. The good news is no one can really take advantage of it. You know, like when you're doing a matrix, you have hackers that are constantly trying to get in there and, you know, get positioned so they can get spillover. None of that really matters. I mean, we might have some people try to do that, but it's not gonna affect your business whatsoever. So just keep that in mind. So I think that I've covered almost everything from the, the point of why you're doing what you do here. You know, why is Lionshare what it is? Why do we bring out this L3 to the technical aspects of it? What I'm going to do right now, I have a bunch of stuff that's popped into this chat window. Um, I'm going to I'm going to do my best to answer some of these questions. If I haven't already answered with them, I, I will do my best here. OK, so I'm going to give a little bit of time to this as, as we go through this. Now, listen, um, here's the deal. If I don't get to your question, I apologize, but we, we have, we're have we a little bit on a time schedule here. If I feel like I've already answered your question, I'm probably not going to answer it as well because I've recorded this. You can go back and look at it, okay? So let me go through here and take a look. Now, as I'm going through these questions, before I even get started, I want to give a big happy birthday shout out to Dion. Um, if y'all don't know Dion, uh, you can probably see her video there. She's on the, my second page. I don't know where she's at on for y'all, but Dion's birthday. Happy birthday, Dion. Uh, Dion, why don't you just really quickly before I answer these questions, you want to come out and say hello to everybody. Give us some of your birthday energy. Good morning, James. Good morning to everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening to my Lion Share family. Thank you, James, for those warm birthday wishes. And I'm like, what better place than to be here with my Lion Share family on my born day? I wouldn't have it any other way. 55 feels really good today. I'm excited about this L3. I'm excited about building legs straight down to China for generational wealth. We always talk about a good man or woman leaves an inheritance for his children's children's children. And so this is one of the ways that you can do that, James. So we appreciate you, Eduardo, and, and the programmers for giving this other vehicle for us to do that. Guys, guess what? People don't care whether or not they're in L1, L2, or L3. What they care about is the fact that we're building community and building team. It's not always about the money. We are in a place within this pandemic where people need hope, people want to believe in their dreams, and people want to believe that there's a community that's going to help them to achieve those goals and dreams. And guess what? You have that right here in Lion's Share. So I'm glad to see everybody out. We love when we get all of the family that we don't see on a daily basis on our Zoom here. But thank you so much, James, for the birthday wish. Guys, get in contact with your team. Don't be a secret agent. Share this vehicle and this blessing with everyone. It's good to see you guys today. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Let me see some birthday cake in the, on your reactions. Give me some hearts. Give me some thumbs up. Let me feel all the love. I'm going to have a virtual birthday party with my Lion Share family right here, right now, this morning. All right. Dion, happy birthday. That's awesome. Uh, you guys can see why I brought her out. She's got unbelievable energy. She always, always brings it. And also, she gives a tremendous amount of her time to help you build your business every day uh, with helping with presentation. So uh, going through some of these questions here, a lot of them I've actually already answered. Um, I did see one question. I want to be clear, even though we talked a little bit about this. Um, you know, I had some people asking about, uh, you know, can, can I show the L3 matrix and how people actually fill in the slots? Keep in mind, this is not a matrix. This is a unilevel, okay? So there's no filling in slots. It's just you have your first generation, which is also considered level one, your second generation, third, all the way to 15, okay? That's what you're going to be able to see inside of your platform. So you, people won't be joining left to right. They won't be taking a spot number one through six or anything like that. This is not a three by 10 matrix. I know some of those have been out. It's nothing like that, okay? It's simple, unilevel, your first generation, second generation, third generation, all the way down, okay? So just keep that in mind. This is not a matrix. And I think everybody got that at this point. Uh, Dion, you're getting a ton of happy birthdays here, uh, which is awesome. Uh, let's see here. Here's a great question. If I'm already in lion share, why well, have to create a new wallet to fund my L3? The answer is absolutely not. No, it will be your same wallet attached. 
The other thing, you will have the same exact uh, user ID or you know affiliate ID that you're using right now. Even though you might have a number in the new contract, it's going to be irrelevant. Okay, you will actually mark it with your current Tron link or your current Ethereum link. Um, we also have given people the ability to connect those, right? So if you're in the Tron and the Ethereum, you can connect those two in your back office uh, in your settings. And you can actually promote just one link for all the Ethereum, the Tron, L1, L2, L3, all of it. Okay. So just keep in mind, you know, I got to give our, our programming team massive credit because they've done phenomenal things in connecting these platforms like this. And nobody else has been able to do that. Okay. Let's see here what we got. Okay. A uh, question is, on the wallet issue, is there any chance in the future we'll be able to use other types of wallets, such as Ethereum, which is currently optional on the system, but not used? Well, I don't know. Uh, maybe, uh, Timothy, you might be talking. I don't know if you're talking about wallets or if you're talking about cryptocurrency. If you're talking about cryptocurrency, uh, you know, the Ethereum contract's still in full play. I mean, we have a lot of people that are still working that. We also have the Tron. Um, and as we've said, from a vision standpoint, I mean, we're not married to any cryptocurrency we're married to giving you guys the best that we can give you right so if there's other platforms or there's other cryptocurrency that come in the future that makes sense we're going to absolutely roll a smart contract out if it doesn't we won't but i'm assuming that at some point we absolutely will see that um, in regards to wallets you can use any d app wallet that you want the deal is though you can't change okay once you've given us a wallet you can't go in there and change it now you can import your wallet into another wallet if you'd like to do that, okay? And we can't get into that here today, but you have the ability to take whatever wallet you have and import it into another wallet and use it like that. Uh, but as far as changing a wallet or adding a wallet or doing anything like that, it's not that we don't want to allow you to do that. It's just that's the way that smart contracts works. It's attached to one wallet, so there's not much that we can do about that, okay? So let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, so uh, David's asking the exact time of the launch. It's going to be 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. Um, I don't know what time that is in Nigeria, but I think if you just use your phone, you can probably find that. Okay, let's see here. Dion got a message saying 55, you look 25. I had to read that one. That's a good one, Dion. Um, how can I access my Ethereum via LionShare since I've got with Tron? So um, Keith, you want to get with, I don't know who invited you. I'm not sure if they're part of the Ethereum contract or not, but you can speak to them first. But you know, if you go to the main LionShare website, the Ethereum contract is just right there. I mean, you can choose which one you want. Even when you log in, it gives you that option. So that's how you find it, okay? Uh, here's a question. How many direct downline can one have in the first generation? Great question. Unlimited. You can have unlimited amount of personal referrals, okay? So your first generation, level one, direct sales, whatever you want to call it, you can have as many of those as you possibly want. In fact, the more the better, in my opinion, because obviously with the L1 and L2, those people are going to follow you through the matrices. And on L3, imagine if you did have 100 people that you personally referred and all 100 of them were building deep. I mean, it's going to be a massive amount of income potential for you. So just keep that in mind. That's a great question. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Um, can you have a different sponsor for L3? The answer is no, not unless you want to sign up again on L1 and L2, then you can. But, you know, again, I don't recommend you doing that, but you, you can do what you would like. Let's see here. Um, is Okay, so I think it's saying is L3 only paying you on directs? Do you get paid when people's direct? So yes, it pays 15 levels deep. So, you know, let me see. I'm going to try to bring this up. I don't know if I have it in front of me. Give me one second. This will take me just a second, y'all, but I'm going to try to get this slide up uh, where I can show you it really quickly. I think Marlene had asked me to do it as well. So give me one second. I'm going to see if I can share this with you. I probably should have had this up, but I didn't think ahead. One second. It is loading.
awkward silence. Y'all like that? You should be sitting on my side. I can't hear anything. Okay, here we go. Let me see if I can present this. One second, I'm almost there. I mean, could my computer go any slower right when I'm in a meeting? I don't know if it could. Okay, let me get this brought up here. Okay, so now everybody should be able to see this. We are looking at the uh, L3, right? Okay, so first of all, these are the package prices, just like on the L2 and L1, they are the same exact prices on the Tron and same will be for the Ethereum as well, okay? So whatever the packages are on Ethereum, it'll be the same exact packages on L3. So completely optional, you can buy as many as you want. But here's what I really wanted to show you, okay? Uh, what you're looking at here is the L3 basic. This is really the compensation plan in a nutshell. Like if you had a one page, uh, you know, something to show someone one page, this is it. So on the left hand side here, what you're seeing is you're seeing what when, when we talk about levels, it's another way of saying a generation. OK, so level one would be your direct sales, people that you personally refer. So every single time you personally refer someone into L3 on a package that you own, you're going to earn a 20 percent commission on every single package that they purchase. You would earn a 20 percent commission. OK, now, when those people that you personally refer go out there and they start building their team, the people that they personally refer, guess what? They are your level two or your generation two, and you're going to earn a 10 percent commission when they go out there and they start referring people. That next group of people would be your level three or your third generation. You earn 10% on that. I'm not going to go through every one of these, but the bottom line is generation four through 15, you're going to earn a 5% commission. So what you may not get is how powerful this is. So I'm going to show you one more slide and then I'm going to get back to the questions. You heard me talk about the power of three. It's something I really believe in with the L1 and the L2, like wholeheartedly. I know that it works because of the follow me system. If everybody can get out there and get their three, you can crush it. Now, the, the only problem with this slide that I'm showing you is that I do believe that these numbers that you're looking at become a little bit unrealistic to a lot of people. Okay, let's just be honest with each other. If you go 15 levels deep and you have three that get three, you got over 14 million people, right? So I don't think most of us on here, including myself, are going to get 14 million people personally inside of our business or like even through our team, it's going to be challenging to do, but it absolutely could happen. But what you're looking at on these numbers is on the left, this is you personally referring three on this very first one. Um, all the way down, helping three get three. That's what this is showing, the power of three. On the, on the middle column, it's showing the amount of Tron. So this is the 100 Tron project, okay? So uh, our package, not project. So someone's coming in, they're buying the package for 100 Tron. That's what you're seeing on the second column here. Let me get a pointer here. Hold on, let me go back here. Let me get a pointer. All right, so this right here, I'm sorry. This is, the, this is 100 Tron. Over here, it's showing your potential earnings. So when you find three people that find three people all the way down 15 levels deep, this is showing your income potential. Folks, I want you to look at this as this starts to grow. You can, this is on the 100 Tron package, okay? We're talking about $2.50 is what we're talking about when we're talking about 100 Tron, right? You can see these numbers just get ridiculously big, very, very fast with the power of three. If you go to the 1,000, Look at this. I mean, these numbers are ridiculous as, as they grow. And the truth is you don't even have to get that deep with it to really start to earn some amazing income. Now, this is not dollars. This is Tron on the right. But as you can see, these become massive, massive numbers. You get to the 10,000. I don't even want to show it to you because it is off the charts here, right? I mean, that bottom number, I don't even know what that is, like 7 billion Tron, I think, 7 billion, uh, which wouldn't be bad. I'll take that. So I'm going to stop sharing this. I wanted you guys to be able to see that, though, and see the generations. Let me see if I can get back to these questions, see if there's any more questions before we wrap this up. <clears throat> um, how's it going to be shown in the back office? It will be shown uh, by each generation. OK, that's that's how it's going to be shown. It won't it won't look like your matrices uh, because <clears throat> it's not a matrix. So we'll be able you'll be able to actually see each generation that you have as well. OK, so it's, it's going to be an awesome deal. You guys know, I mean, one thing that I can say with 100% certainty is our programmers have done phenomenal jobs in the back office. So you can be guaranteed that even if it's not exactly the way that I want it when it launches or we want it when it launches, it'll get there, 
right? I mean, that's one thing that we constantly do. I mean, these things that you see pop up in the back office, these are from conversations that are constantly being held between myself, the programming team, and getting those things to where they're user friendly. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So with that being said, I mean, I don't see any other questions in here, actually. So either I did a phenomenal job, which is highly doubtful. I'm just kidding. Or you guys are just getting it finally. And that's what I hope it is, right? I hope that you guys, we've been doing this enough that, that you guys have, have actually got it, okay? Let's see what we got. So listen, if you guys have a customer support issue, make sure to contact our customer support. I'm going to throw their link in there. I had a couple, a couple of you sent me support questions. And truthfully, it's not that I don't want to help you. It's just a matter of, I don't, number one, I may not be able to help you because I might not know what you're even talking about. And number two, obviously in a setting like this, it's impossible for me to do that for each individual person. So I'm going to, I'm going to throw this uh, link to everybody. If you have a support issue, just hit us on Telegram. Telegram, that's an actual live person. That's not a bot. We have uh, customer support agents that are in Spanish and English. Uh, so if you need help, they're there to help you and they do a phenomenal job, right? They're going to get back with you in 24 hours, usually you, quicker than that. Uh, but we do have set hours, okay? And we're in the US. So uh, we're not, we're not there 24 hours a day, but just know we get back with people within 24 hours. All right. So let me see if there's any final questions here. It looks like we are good to go. Um, Ricardo's asking, uh, what are some examples of DApp wallets? Well, I mean, they're everywhere, right? You just go to Google and type in top DApp wallets, uh, but there's just Trone Wallet, there's Trone Link. Uh, on the Ethereum side, you've got uh, MetaMask, which is probably the number one, I would say. Uh, you got Trone Pocket, or I'm sorry, yeah, you got Trone Pocket. There's, there's just Google them, okay, or get with your sponsor. They are everywhere. Uh, but most DApp wallets, you got to be somewhat careful. The reason why, I'll just straight tell you, the reason why we recommended Tron Link is because it is compatible with all devices. So you can use it on your computer, your cell phone, your iPhone, all that stuff. That's why we did that for ease. But you can use whatever you want, okay? Most, I think all DApp wallets should connect our system. So just know that as you're getting people into this, all right? If your sponsor isn't interested in L3, you are absolutely still good to carry on. Absolutely. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So listen, I'm going to wrap this thing up. We've been on here 47 minutes. I, I didn't mean to stay this long, but you guys know I'm long winded. Ironically, I had someone in here say, no offense, but could you just get to the point? It hurt my feelings. No, it didn't. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> Um, all right. So listen, y'all, um, I really, really appreciate everybody taking the time to come out here today. Um, I know tomorrow is going to be groundbreaking. I really do. I mean, I, I don't think people are really understanding this because maybe there's not been the hype that, you know, comes with like a matrix. But when you see the income potential, the income earnings and the opportunity to have a true home where you can build a team, you're going to be shocked at what's about to happen in lion's share. Now, here's what's amazing as well. We're just getting this thing started. Like literally, we are just getting this thing moving, right? So just know that there's so much more to come from a lion's share perspective, so many more things that we can bring to the table. I think people have a hard time remembering that, you know, this is like a month, five weeks, six weeks old, even the Tron project. You know, this isn't six years old, right? We're talking six weeks. Look at your back office. Look what we've been able to do in that amount of time. Look at the amount of people that we've been able to bring to this. Look at the community that we have. And look at the fact that we never stop. We keep moving. We keep moving forward and creating new ways for you to be able to earn for you and your family and also just the community that we have. So listen, I appreciate everybody taking the time to come out here today. Make sure 100% that you are communicating with your team. Don't pass your sponsor. It makes no sense whatsoever. Let's all come together as a team and do this the way it's supposed to and blow this thing up and just make it make it happen like we didn't even expect. Leading into the holiday season, I, I'm so excited to hear some of these testimonials of people finally saying, you know, for the first time in my life, I was able to go into December and, you know, not have that stress that is on me every single year to figure out what I'm going to do for my family. Those are the best ones. I mean, we have the people that have earned the 300, 400,000, which is super cool. I want everybody to be able to do that. But the stories that get me is the ones that, hey, 
you know, I was able to earn $500. It allowed me to save my car or stay in my home or put food on my table or help, you know, with, with Christmas, if you celebrate that or Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate, it's cool with me. I don't care. So bottom line, y'all, thank you so much for coming out. I, I can't even tell you how much this community means to me. Uh, and, and, and what we're, what we're going to be doing in the future is just going to blow you away. So thank you so much. Y'all have a great day. Let's rock and roll. Stay on top of that telegram. We're going to knock this thing out. See y'all.